Sorry about that. You could stick it on here. You could stick it on here. Sorry about that. I repeated myself eight times already. So that's how the one looks now. Okay, now it may not have this big old bottle on there. But with a bottle, you have to scoop it up with your hand. With this, it's much more simpler, much more easier. So, of course, the fire would still be really weird. Because then you have to watch out with these. But at least these can rotate. So it could be something like this. Maybe you want to have it like that. I don't know, your preference over here. I don't know. Uh, you can have it even facing down and they won't come out. I like having them like to the shield. Why? Because as you're shooting, you need nothing know. Then when you're done shooting, you take one out and you just refill it. Stick it in here. So with the 5, and then I think this adds 4, making it 9, and then in here you could add up to 5. These should carry 5 in there. So we just take this out. Stick it in. Now this thing has a problem of not actually sticking on, but that's only because you have to do it on an angle, but it doesn't matter what kind of angle you do it on, as long as this part right here, this part right here, hits, and that's okay, as long as it hits, sorry, as long as it gets pushed, so other than that, it loads up your marbles, and then you can check it out. Now, besides that awesome part right there, you could also change the trigger. Sorry about that. Oops, sorry about that, jeez. Anyway, so you see this trigger, right? This trigger is meant to stabilize because, see, it holds it down. So with these on it, the trigger will be holding it really nicely, and the feet will also be holding it, too. So even if like that, they won't fall. Even like that, with all this stuff on it, with all the other stuff at max, so it won't fall. Unless there's more weight on it. So this trigger is really nice. We can also exchange it with this trigger. Now this trigger is blue. And there we go. The trigger already falls down because it's already heavy. So if there was weight on it, it would just do the same thing. Do the fact that there's this on here. And plus the trigger is more, much more longer. So if you do have a longer hand or whatever, shorter, you just take minimum presses and it's more rapid fire. Of course, for something like this, it can't be done because of the back is not the same as a regular Peter Mark. like this and even though the beetle mod is not standing straight up like this and it did fall back as you can see it still does the job of uh, this over here oh, of this over here now I'll show you the last thing of how it actually looks with the uh, beetle mod itself so this is how you take off the DH driver Arm off, arm off, leg off, leg off. Take out that. Take out this. Touch the head. For me, myself, I'm just gonna stick back all this armor. And have it how it originally looked.
sorry. I'm Okay, so as I'll say. Oh yeah, we need the bottle. Let's take these little things back in here. Okay, so So I think this set also comes with those little rings. So you want to get the body, you want to reattach uh, your beat em up's head. The feet, the arms, the legs. Of course I didn't decide to leave those little rings on. Anyway, so you want to take off the trigger. I'm sorry, you want to take off the, the trigger? Put on the other trigger. But you have to put the trigger on like this. Because the trigger does fit through this. As so, as so. Hmm, I'm not sure how you're supposed to do this. I think you're supposed to put this little wing thing on first. Okay, there we go. So you want to put on the wings. You want to put this on. Sorry for taking so long. I'm also falling asleep right now. So after you do that, you want to take off the uh, top head, the top piece. Then you want to stick. Well, take this on. <coughs> then you want to stick this on. There we go, like that. Then you're supposed to stick this on, I think, like this. And that's how it looks. How you're supposed to use this? Cause you could have it like this. Sorry, sorry, sorry have it like this or whatever you could also pose it still but uh how you're supposed to use it is probably just keep this off to the side or something somehow put them on there i don't i don't know i don't use my beetle mall like this i use it in a totally different way that i'll show you right now but you're supposed to one-handedly put it on and then shoot and fire so let me put on my beat them on what what happened here? I just cut. So this is how I use my beat em on with uh, this on it. As you can see, all parts that I took off are right over there. So this is crazy looking, but I this is how I use my wing sword when I need rapid fire. Like this. His arms must be out like this. So he's like a... It's like... It looks like some weird heliobreaker mixture. Anyway, he could hold more now. Yeah the same concept as before this time I put pressure on these to keep them down holding up the arms and then I shoot one two three four and then when I take that one off I get them and I just stick it back I just stick it on here okay. and 
then of course it, when that's on there I can just still fire because see it's the same thing and of course you can have these anywhere you want you could have them like this but the wings need to stay right there have them like this if you want take this one out reload stick it back so that's basically the end of, that's basically the end of it that's basically how you use to speed them on like that um let's see if you don't want to have it like that, you can have it this way. No, oh, no. Huh, I forgot how. There's this other way. I think it was like this. Yeah, I think it was like this. I think, I'm not even too sure. Anyway. So that's basically my beat em up review. As the last thing, between the other stuff, these are the strike shots. I do own all the strike shots. And where I got this from is right here. Which is this blue pouch which I keep my strike shots and my other beat them on equipment such as the uh, the so, uh, strike shots and the uh, regular marbles. I don't know why I said other beat them on equipment. But that's about it. Thank you for watching.